so I know I look kind of creepy right now, but it's because I don't really have much makeup on. I um, left the house today for just a brief second, so I just put on a light powder and some mascara. It is a bit overcast today, but the sun keeps coming out randomly, so I'm sorry if the lighting is a little all over the place. And I think the last thing to address is that I cut my hair. Um, I don't know if you guys can even see it really, but it's really short. It was like down to my butt, so it was a huge change for me, but it's the kind of change that I just needed. I did it myself. I just chopped it all off and layered it in the bathroom. It's just been a really rough month for me, and I needed to do something. And usually when I need to do something, I just chop all my hair off or dye it or cut bangs and I'll regret it later. I have an awesome review for you guys today and I thought I would do something a little different and do a get right away with a I thought I would do a get ready with me. Oh my gosh, why can't I say the word ready? So I thought I would do a get ready with me for it, just so it's not boring. Like I said, I've already done my face earlier, so I can't really show you one of the brushes, but I can show you all the other ones. The review is gonna be for this set of furless brushes. I already have them in my brush container, um, but they come in a gorgeous bag. Now, as always with my reviews, I will show you guys the unboxing part of it so you guys can see how it's packaged, but this is the bag that it comes with. It is stunning. Obviously not real leather because furless is absolutely cruelty free. Each brush did come with these little plastic wrappings and they were inside here. So like I said, I'll go ahead and show you guys a clip of me opening it now. It did come beautifully packaged. I was really, really impressed. So anyway, as I mentioned before, I really love this one, which is the MF2. I do think this is very comparable to a Sigma brush, kind of like the F80, but it's another one. I'll write it down over here. I completely forgot what it's called. And another MAC brush as well. So uh, yeah, these are super high quality. You're really going to get your money's worth, in my opinion. This is beautiful to blend out your concealer, to put foundation on pretty much one of those all-in-one things where you can do a lot of things with it. It's good for powder or liquid in my opinion. It distributes the product beautifully. If you put way too much foundation on it will help kind of distribute it all over your face without looking cakey and it's beautiful. It's just dense enough and the shape of it is really good for little crevices on your face as well and I'm really really impressed by it. So Definitely by far one of my favorites, but I love all the other ones as well, so it's gonna be hard to pick one. I just love this set. Since this is a get ready with me, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my contour. I'm using the MF3, and this is the perfect contour brush. Before, I was using this e.l.f. angled blush brush with my Real Techniques contour brush to contour my face. And what I would do is I would just use the contour one to do like a very precise line, and I would use the angled one to kind of go in and buff it out and do a better contour with it. However, with this one from Furless, I eliminate two for one, and it's perfect. I'm gonna go in with my Bahama Mama. I know it's not natural, but I'm still trying to find a replacement for that. Um, and the MF3. So, just lightly tap it. My mirror is right here. It's one of those that you can kinda move around. <laughs> so excuse me looking to the side. So as you can see, that was really easy. Just perfectly contoured my cheek and I didn't have to do a million different things to get that contour. There we go. Put just a little bit on the side of my face here. And then to contour my nose, I'm gonna go in with the blending brush, which is the ME3. This is another amazing brush. I'm gonna go show you guys a little more in depth of my use of it in my actual crease, but I also use it for contour, so I found that it's really perfect for your nose. Contour right over here. It's gonna be pretty dark at first, but I'm gonna go back in in a second. So I don't know if you guys can see from one side to the other the difference already. I'm gonna go back to my other brush and just kind of blend that out. 
I like to have a more like sun-kissed natural look so I don't like it to be like a super precise line so just like anywhere that it would hit, hit your cheek and because of my lighting there's a shadow over here casting on my nose so it's looking a little awkward but um, whatever <laughs> last thing is gonna be blush um, I'm not gonna highlight today just because I've been a bit oily um, MF1 is the one that I use for blush it's the perfect blush brush you can also use this for powder I do believe a few people have said this is good to put on your powder foundation or maybe setting powder and all that but I'm using it for my blush today going in with my 100% pure fruit pigmented blush in strawberry I have been really really loving this and a little goes a long way because it's very pigmented I like to focus most of it on the outer part of my cheek and lightly bring it in to the apples of my cheeks just because I do have a very round face so I want to kind of balance that out I love these brushes they're so soft on your face oh I'm just so in love with them and as you can tell they have like a minty green top um, I have been using these for about a week now so mine are getting a little dirty but originally they were a very beautiful I think you can tell a little more on this one that one's a little more used because of the pigments of the blush but they are a gorgeous minty green color on the top or the tip <laughs> I'm going to bring you guys in now my skin has definitely seen better days so please excuse it um, but we're gonna go ahead and start with the crease I'm using that ME3 that I showed you guys before it's the perfect crease brush it's pointed but it's still um, pretty fluffy to where it won't give you a very harsh line when you start doing your um, transition color and all of that. All my pigments are pressed. You guys know I'm too clumsy to have my mineral pigments loose. So I'm starting with Silk Naturals Sepia which just looks like this and in my opinion it's perfect for your crease. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with that. And as you can see, it just applies the perfect amount of it without being too harsh. And if you're not very good at blending or if you're not a very experienced um, person when it comes to makeup, then this set will be perfect for you because it just makes it so easy. You just can't really go wrong. I didn't put a primer on just because I'm not planning on leaving the house today. Now I'm going to go in with Abrija's Comet, which is one of my favorite pigments ever. always use this for my outer um, lid. Outer slash like halfway. You guys haven't uh, noticed yet, I'm really bad with multitasking when I'm doing my makeup, so <laughs> I don't talk very much. I just wanted you guys to be able to see these brushes in action because they are incredibly good and I mean I'm not a makeup artist per se but I do find these very professional in comparison to my other brushes that are supposed to be professional. Now I'm going to take my ME5 which is just your pretty regular eyeshadow brush. I'm guessing this is going to be perfect for foiling pigments, but I have not tried. I'm going to put Betsy's Sorbet by Breezia. She just looks like this. It's like a really pretty um, pink, pinky nude color, I would say. Just a really light pink. Do you notice that this one doesn't pick up a ton of product, which is good for me because I tend to be a little heavy-handed with my makeup sometimes. So it just picks up the exact amount that you would really want it to. And because I'm kind of inadvertently creating a um, pinky look, I'm gonna go in with Silk Naturals Impact, which is a dupe of Urban Decay's, uh, one of the Naked 3 shades. So I'm gonna put that over here, just on my crease, to give it a little bit of color definition in between the transition color. 
increase color. Or the lid color. <laughs> Just adds that really beautiful rosy look. Now, I'm going to go in with the ME1, which is this pretty cool shaped brush. <laughs> It's round, but it's flat, and it has a good tip to it. I'm thinking this would be really good for concealer as well. Um, but so far, I've just been using it to kind of blend all of this in together. Again, I'm sure I could find better use for it, but as of right now, because I've been going with a more simplistic approach to my makeup, at least for me, that's all I've been using it for. I want to darken the corners just a bit, so I'm going in with Silk Naturals Rendezvous. Just right in the corner. And this is just gonna add like a really subtle shadow. I like kind of playing with my eye shape. Since I do my cat eye, I like kind of, you know, blending that cat eye in together with my eye shadow. So I try to keep that form. I don't know why, but I feel like adding a little pop of green or a pop of color. So I'm gonna go in with Breezha's River Court which is just this really beautiful color here. Go back with my ME5. Just gonna put that close to the inner corner. Just right there. It's a pretty subtle kind of minty green. It's a really pretty accent color if you don't wanna go over the top. Just gonna go in one more time with the ME3 with no pigment on it, just to help blend that. Now I'm gonna use my ME2, which is just a small angled brush, and I'm going to apply some of Breezha's Comet again, since I use that for my outer lid, just to help blend the colors without having to use the eyeliner on the bottom. Now if I had my mirror closer to me, I'd be able to do this without a problem, but of course, this is really hard. I'm going in with the ME4, or ME4, which is just a pointed brush and my Pacifica Tahitian Pearl uh, smolder, smolder, can't talk, eyelining gel, which is just like an olive green color. I'm gonna put that as my eyeliner. Again, I'm going for a more natural look today, so I don't wanna use a heavy black liner. As you can tell, this just helped kind of shape my eyes a little better, but it's still really natural looking and it's not too harsh or blunt. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. This is the final look. It's just a very um, natural, neutral look, I think at least. And I am super impressed with these brushes. I cannot recommend them enough, especially for the price. These are extremely worth it. I'll probably be purchasing sets for gifts later because I'm just so in love with this company. Again, it's all cruelty free. They feel better than any other brushes I've ever felt in my life. A bunch of my other friends here on YouTube have uh, already reviewed them, which is why I actually wanted to because I saw their videos and I was asking them if they had like a discount that I could use and they ended up sending me a set. So I was really grateful and I just can't say good enough things about them. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know if you want to see reviews for anything else. And that's it. Bye.